Hey you guys, what is up? This is Supergirl Kel. So welcome back to another Monday video. Super happy to be here today with another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. The first one of 2021. As always, I am going to provide more and more Animal Crossing as time goes on. And two months ago, I made a video about having a guide for every single fish in the game and how to catch every single fish. And I finally caught the dung beetle, meaning that I caught every fucking bug in the world. <laughs> So, I wanted to uh, share that experience with you and give you guys the guide on catching every bug in the game so that you can go out there and not suffer as much as I did and have to research everything like I did. Without further ado, here is all the bugs that you can catch in Animal Crossing New Horizons and how to catch them all. The common butterfly is the common butterfly. It's available all day, all year long, all time long. You will find this motherfucker. The yellow butterfly might look like the common butterfly, but it's actually only available from March all the way to October, but is available all day long. The tiger butterfly, similar to the yellow butterfly, is available from March to September all day long as well until 5 p.m. And it, it come by at night, go, it go sleep at night, you know what I'm saying? The peacock butterfly is actually a spring butterfly. It only comes out March till the end of June and is available in the daytime only from when you wake up till about 6 p.m. The common blue bottle is common. Anything that says common, you know it's gonna be out there, but it is season kind of oriented, again, from April all the way till the end of August. So a summery spring kind of bug. The paper kite bite. Paper kite bite kite kite paper kite butterfly is out every single year all day until very late at night around 7 p.m this guy goes away but you always have a chance to get it it's actually worth a lot of bells so very very interesting the great purple emperor though is available in the summer only from may to august but is available all day long until 7 p.m we have the monarch butterfly which is probably my favorite one look at this beautiful winged creature <laughs> This is available from September to the end of November. So this is a fall exclusive butterfly and you can catch it all day long till about 5 p.m. The Emperor's Butterfly though is available at very unpredictable times. It comes first in January to the end of March, then takes a break, comes back in June to the end of September and then comes back again in December. But it is available all day long at all hours of the day and it's actually worth, again, quite a lot of bells. The Agrius. Agrius, Adrius, a a Andrea Butterfly. It comes out at the beginning of the spring in April and leaves in the end of September. It is available all day long until 7 p.m. at night and it is actually super uncommon to find though. So keep your eyes open. It's actually extremely quick. The Raja, Raj, fuck these names. Raja Brooks Birdwing. So it comes out only in the summer and the winter. It does. It's not out in spring or fall. So that's when you're gonna see this. It's only available from 9 a.m. till about 4 p.m. at night. This big motherfucking Queen Alexandra Birdwing comes out only in the summer. It's massive, uncommon. You will see if you don't see it, you're blind. You need glasses, sweet Jesus. But is out from May all the end of September all day long. The moth is out every single day, all year long, only at night, starting from 7 p.m. till about four in the morning. It, it's only spawning where lights are. So if you have lights in your town or any um, items that have lights on them, that's where you're gonna see the moth sticking around. You can usually see it near like Timmy and Tommy's shop or, ev or even like the town hall where you'll basically just see the lights and moths floating around it, hopefully. This big guy though, the big moth, the Atlas moth comes out from April all the way to the end of September and it's only found on trees. So it spawns on trees, it's massively big and it looks like it's staring into your soul and it's only out at nighttime starting from 7 p.m. The Madagascan sunset moth can be found in Madagascar, available now from April all the way till September and is available only during sunset. So it's actually a very strict timing, so don't lose your time. The long locust is available from April, the end of November. It looks like the grasshopper, it's not. It hops around on the ground. You should see it quite well and it's very, very common, and it's all day, all night. The migratory locust is a bit thicker, uh, a lot shorter, but just really fat, like my cat. It's available from August till the end of November, and once again, available all day long, but is uncommon. The rice grasshopper loves to eat rice, like me, August till the end of November, all day long. 
The grasshopper itself though is only available in the summertime, July to September, and is available all day long as well. The cricket, this really annoying guy that you hear all the time can be found from September till the end of November, only during the nighttime, starting at around 7 p.m. until around 5 in the morning. Just follow the sounds as to where the cricket is. You should be seeing it jumping around on the ground and just go ahead and catch it. The bell cricket, though, is the same thing like the cricket. You're gonna see it hopping around. It's a little bit smaller and actually a little bit less common, obviously. It can be found only in September and October, so a two-month thing, or else you have to wait all year again, or you can just time travel, you know, what I think you want to do, I guess. And again, once again at night. Once again, only found at nighttime. The mantis is a massive bug that is found from March all the way till the end of November. So nice, big, long, long time there. And you're gonna see this guy on flowers. So he's a kind of green guy, just kind of sucking the life out of the flowers, getting that nice juice flavored flower. The orchid mantis orchid, I don't. This one's very specific and you have to keep your eyes open. So if you ain't wearing glasses, get some. It's from March to the end of November, so all year round, but it only spawns on white flowers. So white tulips, white cosmos, whatever it is, as long as it's white, it's gonna attract it. I don't know why, I have questions, but you know, it blends really well. So just do not get tricked by them. The honeybee is the only bee that will not sting you and does come out from March till the end of July. And you can see him flying around near flowers. You'll kind of be buzzing around doing his job. So go get your honeybee and make some nice honey. The wasp, all year round, all day long, shake damn trees until that um, high falls down. Make sure you're holding your net. Go ahead and swing at that nest and there you go. You got yourself a wasp. Careful though, bring some medicine just in case you miss like I have. The brown kikaka, the kika, kika, cicada, cicada, is it cicada? The brown cicada is available only July and August, so very spe specific timing, and it's only available all day long. You'll see them on trees, so that's where you're gonna get it. Not coconut trees or anything, but just the tree branch, the, the tree stem, stumps, trees, trees. The trees! The robust cicada, same thing, uh, exact same thing, a little bit less common, bigger as well, and they all do kind of a different noise you're gonna notice with all the cicadas, so just keep your ears open and follow the ones that you don't really hear very often. The giant cicada, though, is the ex exceptional one as it's the rarest one. It's a giant cicada, so you'll see it stand out on the trees, but just keep your eye on this one. Same thing with the walker cicada, not, not, not any different, except that instead of July, it comes out in August until the end of September, so more of a little late summer, early fall kind of uh, cicada. And evening cicada, July and August is, well, only available in the evening, no shit. So keep your eyes out starting 7 p.m. as he's gonna pop out on tree stumps. And then there's the cicada shells, the little baby cicada or a piece of shit. I'm not really sure what it is, but July and August as well. You'll see a very small ball on a tree. Go ahead and swing your net and catch it. If you move past it, it will fall off and actually uh, despawn. So don't lose it. The red dragonfly is a fall season exclusive bug from September to the end of October. And we'll be zipping around. You'll see him. He's nice and bright. The darner dragonfly is quite large. It's from April to the end of October. It's all day long, just a little bit rare. So keep your eyes open. Same thing with the banded dragonfly. It's a lot bigger and a lot more rare. And it actually has more of a time stamp for you to get from the beginning of May to the end of October, only during the daytime though. The damsel fly comes out in uh, November. This is a winter bug only and is available from November to February. It's blue and comes around all day, all night. It's so common. You're gonna catch maybe five spawning at once sometimes. The firefly is exclusive to simply June only. I don't know why, but it's very rare. You're only gonna see it popping out in June at nighttime past 7 p.m. Its lights are gonna be sparkling and zooming the sky on a clear night. So be sure to keep your eyes open when you see those lights moving, cause that is your chance. This mole cricket is very specific. This is the only bug that you're gonna have to dig for essentially. So from January till the end of May, and then it takes a break and comes back in November. So this is a spring and winter bug. It does come out first in November and then goes away in May when it starts to get too warm. You have to follow the sound, so keep your speakers on full blast as you follow where the loudest sound that the mole cricket will make. I'll play it right here. Once you hear that sound and get to the loudest spot, dig your way into the ground as he will pop out and try running away from you. Get your neck quick and swing before he despawns. 
The pond skater is well a pond skater. He skates on ponds, but instead of spawns, you'll see it on rivers. So keep your eyes open for this guy. He is from May till the end of September, but available all day long. The diving beetle. It's a beetle that dies, essentially, from May all the way till the end of September. Uh, you'll see this guy floating and going underwater in the river. It doesn't have a fish kind of um, shadow. You'll see it as a bug, So, and you can use your net to do it. So don't use your fishing rod. It won't work. You have to use your net. The giant water bug, similar to the diving beetle, uh, from April to the end of September. It's a giant beetle, and it's in the water. You're going to see him floating around, so go get him. I don't know why this is stink bug, but I hope it's not as smelly as I think. From March to the end of October, you're going to see this guy on trees. So he blends in quite well with the ground. So don't miss him. He's available all day long. Same thing with the man face stink bug. This, this time he's got a face. Yo, what's up? From the beginning of March till the end of October. And again, all day long found on trees. The ladybug is actually quite uncommon. He's so cute, my little baby. Starting in uh, March till June, takes a break and comes back specifically just for uh, that October beautiful season. Uh, you're going to see this guy on flowers specifically roaming around. Keep your eye out as they are so tiny to see and just go ahead and swing at it. The tiger beetle is available from February all the way till the end of October and disappears for the winter season. It is available all day though on the beaches. Keep your head up and look around the beach as he'll be spawning and running around and jumping through the beach. The jewel beetle, it doesn't actually do anything with jewels. I... April to the end of October is where this could be found and you'll see him on bugs, so very easy to find. The violin beetle will play its beautiful instruments for you starting in May to the end of June and then will return in September to the end of November to be sure that he gives the best orchestrated possible during the active hours of all night long. On tree stumps, tree stumps, tree stumps, all day. All day not the citrus longhorn beetle is all year all day all hours you will find them on tree stumps so be sure you chop down a tree and let that baby spawn the rosalia batesi beetle is available from may all the way to the end of september and will be found on tree stumps the bitch was very hard to find for me it's uncommon as fuck so keep your eye open the blue weevil beetle is the exact same thing but is very strict to july and the end of august only and spawns on tree stumps this dung beetle is the final bug you're probably going to catch. It's available right now in the winter season. This is when you can make snow boys, but you will see them rolling up a snowball for you and playing with that. So be sure to walk around until they spawn and uh, go ahead and swing your net at it. The earth boring dung beetle is exactly what it sounds like. It's from July to the end of September and will be found on trees. It's all day long. The scarab beetle is from July to August, once again during the day, but is quite uncommon. Keep your eyes open as they are hard to see as they blend with the background of the tree stump. The drone beetle is probably the most common beetle. You're going to see this guy everywhere on your trees, so just keep up. So, you know, I don't even have to tell you. It's from June to August. They basically own the town, so just be sure to catch it. The Goliath beetle comes out from June to the end of September. These guys are only available at nighttime at 7 p.m. and then they go away in the early morning. They are only found on coconut trees. So if you're on your beach, walk around over and over until they spawn. Same thing goes for the saw stag as they are only available on coconut trees. Walk around from July to the end of August at night after 7 p.m. The Miyamata stag as well, same thing. Giant stag, another one. This is actually a super uncommon one, so keep your eye open as it's black and super, super, super sensitive. Rainbow stag is the rarest bug in the game by far, starting from June to the end of September. Same thing, comes out at night at 7 p.m. Comes out at night, starting at 9 p.m. this time. And you'll have only until the early morning until it disappears. It's incredibly rare and only spawns on the coconut trees. The Cyclomatus stag comes out from July uh, till the end of August. Again, on coconut trees. They're very common, so just walk around until you get one. The golden stag is the second rarest bug in the game and is worth so much bells, by far the most. So if you catch it, sell it if it's in the museum. From July to August, again on coconut trees at night starting at 7 p.m. The giraffe stag is a little bit of a specific bug. This one not only is on the coconut trees, but it's on regular trees. It's just harder to spawn. So keep your eyes open. It will be there starting at 7 p.m. from July till the end of August. The horned dynasty is the exact same thing as our previous bug. And the horned atlas is probably a super sensitive bug that you need to keep an eye out. It's going to spawn on coconut trees at night starting at 9 p.m. 
The Horn Elephant comes out at 7 p.m. It's a big, fat, chunky little gisty dude that comes out on your coconut trees at 7 p.m. This guy's probably the most sensitive bug with the golden stag. The Horn Hercules comes out from July to the end of August, again on the coconut trees starting at 9 p.m. The walking stick looks exactly like the tree and is sometimes so hot to see, so keep your damn eyes open. When you are going around your island from July to the end of November on any tree, you'll see this walking stick stuck on a tree that is large but blends in so well, keep your eyes open. The walking leaf, however, is the same thing but will be found on flowers. On flowers, you'll see the walking leaf kind of curve up and, and spread itself out to hide and blend in with the flowers. Only available though from July till the end of September and is available during the daytime only. The bagworm is available all year, all times of the day, when you are shaking trees. When you're shaking trees, they will fall out of them and you will be able to catch him before he climbs himself back up into the tree. Ants are only available to spawn on rotten fruit. They are available all times of the day, all year long, but you must get yourself a spoiled turnip or any fruit that could spoil by leaving it out on your island on the ground for one week. It will then spoil and will spawn ants. The hermit crab is also available all year round on your beach only though and all times of the day. Walk around and make yourself think that you're picking up a shell, but they'll really start walking away from you where you can go ahead and have them vulnerable to getting captured. The wharf roach is a little bit different in New Horizons specifically. In other games, they were walking around your beach, you can just hit them. But here they spawn on the stones of your beach. If you go to the stone areas of your beach, I'll post pictures, uh, you'll be able to see a bunch of crowded wharf roaches and that's where you'll be able to catch them. So don't overshadow all of your rocks, leave it open and available so that these guys can spawn. They are available all year long and all times of the day. The fly is the exact same thing as the ant. You gotta spoil a turnip or any type of fruit for one week and then they'll be able to spawn on top where you can go ahead and swing at them. Disgusting bitches. Mosquitoes are the most annoying beasts around as starting in the summer from June to the end of September. They'll start spawning at 5 p.m. Go around and look for your blood to suck. So be sure to keep an eye open as they will go. You'll hear a little and that's where you could go ahead and catch them. Fleas can only be caught on villagers, so that's a super unfortunate thing. Keep an eye on your villagers as you'll see them hop around your villager or they will actually complain. If you talk to them, they'll say itch or scratch uh, during every conversation you have. You'll be able to swing your net at them and that will get you your flea. They're available from April to the end of November. It's way too cold for them to survive in the winter, but they are available all day long. The pill bug can be found through rocks. If you take your shovel and hit a rock, they will come out of them. They are available from January until the end of June. Go away for the hot summer and come back at September once again. They are available all day, all times of the day. This also goes the same thing for the centipede, where it's available at the exact same time, but just a little bit more rare. You either get one or the other when hitting a rock. The spider is available all year long, all times of the day, as long as you go ahead and shake those trees. It's the same thing like the bagworm, so just shake until they fall and string out and you can go ahead and catch it before he climbs his way back up into the tree. Now we're getting to the scariest parts of the video, the tarantula comes out in January. Oh. The tarantula is only available in the winter time, so from November till April, it's going to come out starting at 7 p.m. till very, very early in the morning at 4 a.m. It will be walking around your town waiting just to sting you. Approach it very carefully as it will lift up its singer looking like it's gonna attack you when it sees you. Stay at one place, don't move, start moving again. And then when it goes up again, stop, go again, rinse and repeat until you get your aim and the right accuracy to catch the tarantula. And finally, the same thing goes for the scorpion. This is a summer only bug from May till the end of October. Keep your eyes peeled and your speakers loud as you'll see him hiss at you when you're approaching him. Stay in place every time he's about to hit, he's about to sting until he calms down. Approach again, rinse and repeat until you catch your scorpion. So that is every single bug in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've worked so hard to get these fucking bugs. I don't, I've spent so much countless hours in this game just trying to catch them all. I'm definitely going to do the diving collection as soon as that's finished, but we have a few months until we do get every single diving um, creature. So, and I don't time travel, so you, that'll be a little while before then. But if you have any feedback about this video or anything at all, thank you guys so much. Please leave it in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Join our Discord and community to be a part of everything Supergirl Kells. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. Welcome back to those in school, and I'll see you guys next week for another Monday video. Goodbye, everyone. Peace out.